I was taking my two required history classes and absolutely loved them because they were historians that helped me hear the story in history. And so I got excited about history, loved history. When people come into church history, many of them are very afraid. They've had history experiences that weren't so wonderful, and they fear that they're going to have to learn a thousand dates and uh, know every emperor and every pope and, <laughs> and such things as that. And I think what I bring to teaching church history is an embrace of story, an embrace of what it means practically to live out the faith today, what it, mean, what it meant 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago. Hopefully, too, I bring a little bit of my sense of humor. I have a, a big sense of humor, and I think I bring some of that to the classroom, and I try at least to make church history fun and not so scary. I love the community here. I think we have something unique in the great diversity that is bridged by commonality in Christ. There's just a beautiful community here. Um, there are great friendships here between faculty, between faculty and students, between students and students, and it's something amazing to watch, I think. You can see the goodness of God in these relationships. And I've always appreciated the um, mission statement of the Divinity School. Christ-centered, Bible-based, ministry-focused. Practically every student could quote that to you. <laughs> but I think it's true to us. We are Christ-centered. We do believe that Christ calls us to follow, and we're trying to figure out what that means and how to do that faithfully, how to do it in our context. We are Bible-based. We do believe that the Bible matters, but that we should understand it in its context and also that we should understand it in the context of 2,000 years of people trying to understand it and interpret it and live it. And so I'm happy to be a part of kind of that exploration of what it means to read the Bible in the context of history. And we're also ministry focused. That is, we want not only just to know a bunch of things so we know a bunch of things, but to know things so that we can help the church grow as it seeks to follow Christ, so that we can be Christ in the world. And how many places can you do those things? Um, I think we have a rare and wonderful thing here, and I'm so delighted to be a part of it.